Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Psycho Gold, this is Psycho Gold Videos. And today we're going to be checking out the penultimate episode of Mob Psycho 100. Last time on Mob Psycho 100, Mob and his uh, partners Dimple and Blondie got themselves into a bit of a situation. They found themselves up against the organization known as Claw. And they went up against the Scars of Claw, which is uh, interesting. When you say it like that, I completely missed that when I was uh, watching the episode, but the Scars are like their upper level espers, but Mob was able to make short work of pretty much every single one of them. However, at, towards the end of the episode, he went up against a esper that was able to create uh, illusions slash hallucinations in his mind, and when he was basically able to defeat him, he lost consciousness. Basically because he couldn't cope with what the images was he was seeing. He was still able to effortlessly defeat the Esper, but he passed out from doing so. And Shinji had already been knocked out, and uh, Blondie was overwhelmed, and Dimple was defeated by an Esper who has the ability to subjugate and control evil spirits. The episode ended on a bit of a cliffhanger with Dimple being trapped inside a jar that is full of evil spirits who are basically doing survival of the fittest in there so that the Esper can have a really powerful spirit to control once they've consumed each other. And the others are all captured and they've been taken back to the division leader and they've been uh, bound. Not that that should really make much of a difference considering they're all Espers. However, when Mob regains consciousness, it's not going to surprise me in the slightest if he then takes them all apart without so much as a, you know, a second look because they are all underestimating just how powerful Mob is, despite the fact he was able to take apart the majority of the claws without even breaking a sweat. Um, they seem to be under the daft belief that these, this other Esper who showed up, this kid who's kind of similar age to Mob and the others, um, but he's working on behalf of Claw, they seem to think that he's able to take Mob. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see what happens when the two of them go up against each other. I personally don't think that he'll last five seconds against Mob. I mean, we all know that Mob is holding back in every single encounter. We pretty much had that confirmed in the previous episode. So without further ado, let's jump back into the world of Mob Psycho 100 and see how they're going to get out of this one. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> I will actually laugh uh, if it turns out that Reagan actually does have powers after all of this and he's been holding back this whole time himself. Oh, hello. Got a flashback to when they were kids. Oh, okay, so they're all together in a room. <gasps> Oh, I think he's feeling guilty about everything. <laughs> you won't even let me apologize. <laughs> that was a little emotional moment there, a little reunion. <laughs> what? <laughs> Everybody seems very afraid of him, which is interesting. He's about to bluff his way into the facility, isn't he? <laughs> I love his serious face there. <laughs> they think he's the boss. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. He is so getting into the role. 
That is true, like, what do they plan to do when they open the door? Will it, uh, break whatever it is that's blocking their powers? <笑>あ、<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Oh, crap. <laughs> this is uh, going to be an interesting moment. Oh, they've all come out in force. This is interesting. Nope. You idiots were completely fooled. Oh, the division leader is going to show off. Well, that's interesting. He actually is almost like caring about them. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this is going to be interesting. This is one of Regan's special moves. How did I know it was going to say that? <laughs> Wait, I'm very confused. What is going on? I was going to say, but a drop kick to the face is okay. And he appears to have knocked her out as well, so it's like, oh well. That's uh, the end of her then. There are, he doesn't have any powers! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, um, that's another one KO'd. Oh, oh dear, here come the evil spirits. Oh, he's not knocked out. Oh dear, okay. <gasps> She's up as well. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, that's one way of looking at it. Oh, here come the ethereal bodies. Oh, and there they go. Oh, yeah! Here comes the music and the fight sequence. Let's go! Well, Regan gave it his best. <laughs> oh! He's getting serious now. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, okay. Here comes an explosion. No. Here it comes. <laughs> <gasps> he doesn't care. Murderous intent. Oh! Oh, episode 11, Master Leader. Oh, is this, this uh, how they first met? It's interesting how someone who is basically a con man has, uh... Strong moral compass. <laughs> that should have been his first clue that he wasn't a real psychic. <laughs> wow, 
Wait, what? Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was Mob Psycho 100 Episode 11 with an ending that I didn't see coming. Well, I guess that's the end of Reagan then. Damn. I mean, he wasn't exactly a good person, in inverted commas, but he hadn't, you know, he'd done right by Mob, and he'd done his best to try and guide him. I mean, he taught him not to use his psychic powers against people and only exercise ghosts, but at the same time, he kind of, you know, if Mob had unleashed his powers when he was going to, he wouldn't have just suffered that massive injury, which... I've got to say, I can't see how he's survived it. I mean, the cut was... <laughs> the cut didn't just go along his back. It went through the ground as well, because it was obviously enhanced by his psychic abilities. And that's just the end of him, as far as I can tell. Like, I don't see how he could have survived that, even though there was no blood. But, yeah. Dude. That episode ending at Mob going 100%, unsurprisingly, they're all screwed in the next episode, man. I mean, if he had murderous intent to try and protect them, the fact that he's just watched his master take a lethal blow... Yeah, good luck, guys. <laughs> wow, I mean... That episode had so many good scenes. I mean, Reagan tricking them into thinking that he was the headquarters boss is very interesting. Um... And the fact that, obviously, he was basically able to save all of the people who aren't psychic, and he convinced them to leave, go and hide in a room. And, uh, you know, all of the, the surviving members of the Scars and the Division leader coming out to play. Um, I don't know what happened to the kid from HQ, though. Like, he just seems to be hiding away in the background. I don't know what to say, guys. Like, that ending has completely surprised me and just taken me back. Like, ah... Oh. Be interesting to see, you know, the rest of the episode, there was some really good fights, there were some really good moments between Mob and his brother. I mean, we got to see some flashbacks, we got an emotional reunion between them at long last. His friend was pretty much, you know, stating that even though he is pretty powerful himself, you know, these other guys in Claw are actually causing him problems and he's fighting with pretty much everything he's got to stay alive and, you know... Shinji, we don't really know how powerful he is, but obviously he's still pretty new to his powers, and even though he's able to put up a barrier to defend himself, he really isn't able to fight back against them. You know, he's even weaker than Blondie is. And uh, they need Mob to survive, and unfortunately Reagan, you know, I understand what he was saying, but I don't think he was correct in stating that he they could just run away, like the other two were saying. They need Mob to go nuclear, in order for them to survive, and that's what Mob was going to do. And it looks like Reagan, in all fairness, was just trying to protect them. Like, he clearly had a strong moral belief, but it, much like trying to go up against them originally in the corridor, it backfired, and unfortunately, Reagan has now played, played, blah, 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 paid the price. I think I'm just going to have to end this one here, guys. Like... Wow. I did not expect the character to bite the dust. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to end this one here, guys. And then I think I've got to immediately go and check out the next episode. If you'd like to check it out with me, don't forget that the reactions are already available over on Patreon. But, yeah. I'm, I'm speechless this time, guys. Like, that surprised me. I did not see that coming at all. If you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new around here, and as always guys, I am Psycho Gold, and I will see you in my next video, and hopefully it's going to be a bit of a happier ending than that one was, but uh, this is Psycho Gold, signing out.